What's up, everybody? Old School NYC Gamer here once again, and it's that time. Yup, people, the winter is pretty much over, and uh, it's officially one of the first days here in New York City for garage sailing, so you know what that means. Now, of course, I did actually check out Craigslist last night. Saw a couple places. They're actually not too far from each other, so since really that's what is all that I saw, I'm gonna try to uh, stake them both out, see what we can find. Hopefully I can find a good deal. Um, you never know, because like I said, uh, even though it's the first day here, uh, you know, for garage sailing, it was kind of suspect with the weather, because of course it was raining a lot this morning, but it's cleared up, so hopefully that didn't deter both the people that were posting up doing the garage sales. And of course, like I said, they both had some video games. They didn't specifically say what they had. Hopefully it's a little more retro, but my feeling is it might be more like Xbox 360, PS3 stuff, but you never know. So with that in tow, let's head over there and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it's like two steering wheels. Big game on a 2012 with the light gun. Of course, you have some other stuff. Got controllers. disc in here. Oh, oh, for Soundscope? Yeah, I think that was Soundscope. The other one, uh, the Mad Dog, I think we had to use a remote, actually. Hmm. The original Xbox remote. All right, everybody, so I just left that first yard sale. You saw some of the Xbox goodies that I found there. So I'm actually coming up to the second yard sale now. Uh, it's funny, though, because they did post saying 11 o'clock. Oh, actually, yeah, I believe uh, 10 o'clock, and it's already 9.30. They already have stuff out, so this worries me that, you know, even though they post video games, that a reseller or somebody else just beat me to the punch. And this is what my major pet peeve is, and I know a lot of people will say the same thing. You know, if you're going to post up saying, you know, what time you can start your sale, don't start it earlier, because some people actually might want to get something and actually pay for it. Just a little, uh, little rant there. So without further ado, let's go see what's going on here, and uh, be right back. What we said? Um, Ten for the gun. No, Ten for the gun. Uh, we six for that. That's sixteen. Yeah. And how much did they have Friday the thirteenth? Oh, you said seven right. for Friday the thirteenth. Okay. Right. Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. What did we change for the blue uh, one? How much for the, the Super Nintendo pad right there? I don't, right there. I don't have that separately. I don't think they're. I can't find any uh, of them at the moment. What? I couldn't even find a list of all that. Uh. There's five of them. I'll do five dollars. Fifteen for the pad. Fifteen for the pad. Okay. I want 
Oh, I'm getting those. So I'm back in the game room, everybody. I wanted to film a little more, but honestly, it was getting quite breezy out there. And there's quite more to this uh, last clip than I showed you. Of course, when I rolled up there, you know, I wanted to get there a little early just to make sure, you know, I didn't miss a yard sale as soon as they opened. But, you know, the uh, wife and husband duo, when they uh, started it, actually was a lot earlier. When I rolled up there, it was about 20 minutes to 10, not 10 o'clock. And to me, that was a major pet peeve, so I don't even know how long they even had the yard sale open for. Now, of course, there was another uh, local collector there that was checking out the stuff, too. And he actually recognized me, which was actually pretty funny. Um, but, like I said, the other pet peeve I had with this one uh, particular person was not necessarily, you know, him pricing certain things out when he was looking on eBay. But, you know, certain pricing how he was doing it. Um, you know, the only fair thing I saw within that whole lot that you saw there was he was actually selling... Uh, Super Mario World and Super Mario All-Stars together for $25, which is, you know, not a bad deal. But there was some stuff like Jaws he was asking $8 for, which is ridiculous. He was asking the uh, $8 for the uh, the NES uh, Advantage, which honestly, in the condition it was, he really could have got it for, I mean, honestly, for $5. But then again, it is a buyer's market, and, you know, even after I was leaving, uh, a couple more people... Uh, rolled up and you know we were talking about how like you know this particular person wanted to like you know reclaim a little bit of his uh, nostalgic childhood childhood and i understand that too but once again this is a you know it's a yard sale it's not a retail it's not you know goodwill or anything like that it's you know and i understand like i said this gentleman wanted to get rid of a lot of his stuff but you know you got to kind of come down a little bit on the price guarantee you're going to get rid of a lot of this stuff now in the very first clip that I showed you on this yard sale uh, with all the Xbox lot, um, you know, the uh, gentleman himself even wanted to offer me 35 for that entire lot, which didn't seem too bad, but honestly, it was way too much. And, you know, a lot of those titles I either do have or I was not interested in, so I only picked a few titles. Um, I did give him friendly advice, honestly, because, you know, the whole thing on Craigslist is if you put it on Craigslist, at least offer minimum 75 because you will get those low ball offers i actually did find out from one of the other people at the yard sale who went to this one that he actually did sell it for 50 so you know there you go so anyway let me show you what i got because uh i actually went to these yard sales and i just got back from digital press so actually let me show you the digital press pickups first um i actually did a trade with one of the other sellers there uh for a couple of uh, extra boxing television games i had and I got these two NES titles. One is uh, from Trade West. This is High Speed. And uh, if you guys ever played this pinball game back in the day, it's a very addictive game. It's very fun. One of my favorite games. And the other one here is uh, from Konami, and that is Life Force. This is an excellent shooter. And you know, goes back to you know like with Nemesis, uh, Gradius, that kind of thing. It falls in within that since it was a Konami game. So these two. Definitely glad to have. And um, the next game here, I had to get it, and I literally was laughing just head over heels over this after Crow 111 did uh, this video a couple of days, a few days back, and that is Sneak King. Now, if you wonder what this is, uh, Burger King put out a limited edition of three games. They did uh, a series of what the king would do. Now, from the way Crow was doing it. Um, it's very self-explanatory. I'll actually leave a link to that specific gameplay video down at the bottom so you can see what this is all about. And I actually offered the guy, he said a dollar or less, I offered him a quarter as a joke and he actually took it. So, like I said, this is more for a niche kind of, uh, giggles kind of a thing with this kind of game. So, there you go. Uh, okay, so then on the way back over from Digital Press, uh, I hit a unique thrift store. Uh, with the, one of the other people I met at the yard sale. So, this I saw, and I didn't really think that too much about it, because, you know, my history with Unique Thrift is not exactly that great, because they do overcharge on a lot of things. There wasn't that much there, surprisingly. Um, but, I did see a few things, and I grabbed them, and a couple of them were, you know, couldn't say no to them, so let me grab the first one out here. See, there's a bag here. Uh, let's grab them all out here. Okay, first thing here is a, uh, a you know a, a handheld. 
Uh, it's the uh, Justice League. Uh, sorry, I can't read it too well there. It's a very small print. Uh, Justice League uh, LCD game. And it was for 99 cents. And I mean, from. I would believe there's some batteries in there, but I'm not too sure if it'll work or not. But for a buck, you know, can't beat that. And next up, uh, I had to grab this. And it's also for 99 cents. And this is Frogger. And it was kind of like a, uh, you know, a thing I wanted to grab. Hey, for 99 cents. But the cool thing is when you uh, hit it, it's like a panorama kind of thing. Just like with some of the old uh, uh, Nintendo games like Mario Cement Factory. The game is up here uh, where it, it, uh, you see the reflection down here. Of course, now you need some light to play this a little better. And this was made by Excalibur Electronics. Uh, I'm not too sure on the copyright. Uh, or, you know, I believe this came out in 05. It says 2005 in, uh, by Konami. But, of course, you know, it was like a little niche kind of a thing. For 99 cents, you couldn't beat that either. And next up here, this is more of a showpiece. I had to call up a local YouTuber to get his opinion on it. And it is a Star Wars plug-and-play, as you see right there. But, of course, this is the uh, Millennium Falcon. Uh, it does turn on and works. This is by uh, Jack's uh, plug-and-play TV games. Of course, Jack Pacific, that kind of thing. Uh, just, like, looking at the copyrights on here. Yeah, Jack, Jack Pacifics. But, uh, yeah, but um, the joystick itself is very responsive. Uh, buttons seem to be in good condition. And this was for three ninety nine. And I said, worst case scenario, if I really just get sick of this freaking thing, I can always take it apart, use it as a uh, showpiece for the game room. So, uh, the next yard sale, which was actually the first clip, um, well, going back to the yard sales here, uh, I'll show you the first stuff I got from the first yard sale. Uh, first off, these were all, um, you know, he was asking $2 a piece. So I kind of bundled everything together, everything I paid, I believe, uh, $14 for uh, first off here is Reckless, the Yakuza Missions for the Xbox, and it is complete. And next up here, uh, you know, I took a chance on this, seeing it's kind of like an adventure fighting game kind of a thing uh, from looking at it, and that is Crimson Sea for the Xbox. And of course, this one is complete as well. And next up here is Silent Scope Complete. Of course, it has all three games. Uh, fortunately, though, um, there's a lot of water damage on the manual itself. The disc, uh, just check it out. It's a little scratched, but I know it should play fine. But the reason why I also did, excuse me, also the reason why I also did grab this is it also came with the gun itself. So, yeah, this is definitely something I wanted to get right there. And the last part of that deal was, um, you know, I mainly got this for a specific reason. But, of course, if any other uh, YouTubers out there know about this, please let me know. Of course, this is uh, Cabela, uh, Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012 for the Xbox. As you can see here, uh, it does still have the codes, I believe. And the disc is in immaculate condition. Now, you're thinking, why the hell did I buy this? Well, I bought it for specifically for this for the gun. Now, you might be asking why the hell would I want to get the gun for? Since this is an Xbox 360 uh, peripheral, I believe, and then of course I don't quote me on this, I uh, want to take a shot to see if I can wire this up and see if I can have it play with some other first person shooters like Call of Duty, um, you know, games like that. So of course, you know, this is the game right here, or the game, the gun. And yeah, and this is the uh, sensor bar right here. It does take a couple of batteries. And yeah, so like, it's so weird how like, you can get the sights to work on this. Uh, of course, you have the, uh, the thumb, the, both the uh, analog thumbsticks. So, I mean, I wouldn't fail to see how this would not work with um, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 2, or anything like that. I mean, like I said, it's a niche thing, but I wouldn't mind trying it just for the hell of it. If anybody knows, uh, please let me know if this would possibly work with uh, the Call of Duty games. And that's it, people. So there you go. That's all my stuff that I found this week. And, you know, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down at the bottom. And as always, check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Daily Motion. And that's about it. Thank you very much, everybody, you know, for all those, you know, going yard sailing. Just, you know, you got you to get there early. 
You gotta be persistent and always never, never uh, hurts to haggle. The one last thing I did want to bring up before I go, that last yard sale uh, I forgot to mention, there was one seller, and I know he was a reseller who came in, and I honestly don't know what he was thinking. It was a, a Game Boy lot, and it was in the uh, protective Game Boy case. It looks just like a Game Boy. I think you've seen these before. Uh, it was a handful of games. I believe there was about um, 20, 25 Game Boy Advance games and a handful of Game Boy games. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know what the titles were because I didn't want to like, like leer over him to see what he was getting. Uh, but it was that, a few extra games, and a red, I believe, red Game Boy uh, pocket. And the person, people at the yard sale were asking $185, and he coughed up $184. Now, to be quite honest, I would not have paid that. This is what I'm saying. If, uh, it never hurts to haggle, but of course, if they won't come down on certain prices, honestly, you know, if you know you could get it somewhere, you got a good feeling you could get it somewhere else, I would say move on, and that's my tip for the day. Oh, and that's about it. Thank you very much for watching, and take care. Cheers.